on to Article 5. Article 5. Um, the purpose of Article 5 is to replace the current regulations relating to flood hazard areas and floodplain development with an improved floodplain management ordinance. As an overview, this article deletes current zoning ordinance sections 2.4 and 11.6 and replaces those sections with new language under section 2.4. This new language is largely based on the state's model floodplain ordinance. Most of the current requirements will remain unchanged, although there are some differences in the wording. The substantive changes include providing administrative provisions, organizing the floodplain development standards by type of development rather than repeating for each zone, outlining building permit application requirements, elevating new or substantially improved structures by one foot above the base flood elevation, and providing standards for detached accessory structures. And I do want to touch briefly upon the elevating new or substantially improved structures by one foot above the base flood elevation. In instances where that would be required, um, we're also amending the you know, maximum height requirement and the dimensional requirement. So if you have to elevate that additional foot, if the maximum height is 35 feet, you can go to 36. The planning board wanted to uh, provide that incentive for that purpose. Um, and also, a thing to note about this article is that we are also working on the community rating system, getting the town accepted in the community rating system program. The passage of this article would assist that would, with that effort, and including that elevation, that freeboard elevation of one foot above the base flood elevation. And by doing this, it would allow, if we're accepting the CRS, um, reductions in flood insurance premiums would result. So there's a lot of benefit to this article, and we hope the voters would support this one. All right. Any, anyone wishing to be heard on Article 5? Seeing none. 